Hey, what's up, YouTube, man? It's your boy Pry. We, uh, today we're working on the carburetor for the Predator 90 that I got. And, uh, I've taken it, took it off and took it all apart, and, yeah, it definitely needs cleaning. You can see that in there from where it just sat. So it's pretty nasty. Uh, Here's the jets for it. I know you can't see in there, but yeah, that jet is so what clogged up. That's your main, that's the main jet, and here's your idle slash pilot jet. Uh, float needle. The little plunger does move on it, so I'm going to reuse it. Uh, Gonna clean it up. Here's your float needle seat. It had a removable one, so I pull that out. I might need to change the O ring on there. Well, technically, when you rebuild a carburetor, you should replace O rings and gaskets and whatnot, but. Since this is mine, and it's not a customer's, <laughs> I'm going to do it without a rebuild kit. And if it works, then great. If it doesn't work, then I'll get a rebuild kit and redo it. But I uh, think I might need to find a used card for this, though, because this piece here goes on top of the carburetor that the throttle cable goes through this and as you can see the top of it is broken uh, I believe this piece was on there maybe like so um, so the throttle cable has to sit in something um, to hold it I mean to hold it in place so I uh, might need to find another one uh, just to get this piece off of it it's actually a Makuni carburetor so you can see it there it's a Makuni carb so I want to keep that but uh, what we're going to do is I have some cam dip here this is what I use to clean my carbs so basically just take this this stuff is pretty strong it's pretty good stuff too uh, it definitely will get your carbs clean so it, it comes with a little basket inside of it you know if you're concerned about safety or you know this shit burning your hand or whatever then put on some rubber gloves latex or whatever put your gloves on and make it do what it do we we got that in now this little joker got a gasket too and uh we just put all the pieces that we want to clean we put them in there the whole carburetor's going in there now if you leave this carburetor and this stuff too long it will discolor it <laughs> so uh, keep that in mind. I usually go, it depends on how bad the carb is, how long I leave it in there. You know, so I put it in there. The, the needle, the main needle is set on the third, third groove on there. So we're going to put that in there too. piece don't put all of that in there the float if the float is a float like this stuff here if this was covered in there then I would put it in there but you can see I can just scrape that stuff off of there so we're not going to put this in there this time uh, I have put floats in Kim dip before so but yeah we're just going to scrape that clean with our fingers fingernails whatnot so 
Yeah. Then once you have it all in the bass, you just take that basket there and dump it in there. And it sits there. That stuff will eat all that gunk and nastiness in the car. It will eat all of that up. So um, let me give y'all an update on the on the four wheeler. It's over here. Um, I did a video a couple nights ago. I was out here messing with it to see if it had spark. I didn't post the video because I didn't like the, the quality of it. I mean, it was too dark in the garage. It was at nighttime when I was doing it. So I just basically had the lighting in my garage, which sucks. So I will be putting up different lights. I will get me some lights and put in this garage. Um, yeah, we're gonna do we're gonna do somewhat of a makeover in this garage. <laughs> It'll be over time, but it's gonna happen anyway. I got off subject. Um, we was looking at it and we found that there's a crack here. The frame is cracked there, and it's a semi crack up under here. Like it didn't break all the way through, but it's a little cracked under there. So what we want to do for that, man? We're just gonna weld it. Um, I have a buddy, he has a welder, so, yeah, that's how we're going to fix that. Um, I'm not really worried about the frame giving way or anything like that, you know, with my kids riding it, so that's how we're going to fix that. This thing doesn't have enough power to, you know, do damage to the frame. That looks like somebody might have... I don't know, probably try to do a willy or something on it and or somebody too heavy was on it or whatnot. But anyway, that's where we at with that. Um it does have spark. Um I did get it to fire up the other day. It took me a took me a little while. But uh we got it done. So uh basically with this we're going to I'm not even worried about it being dirty and all of that, man. We're just gonna get this thing to running and uh, attempt to put the plastics together. Um, I did notice there's some broken pieces on, on the plastics, um, like here. You can see where that piece there was broke. Um, yeah, so the plastics are not in great condition, but you know, we're going to make it do what it do, man. Ain't nothing some zip ties can't fix. <laughs> Put a hole on each side of it, drill a hole on each side, uh, like this piece. We drill a hole here, and then one in here, run a zip tie to it. Uh, it's good. Have a Frankenstein. <laughs> Frankenstein four-wheeler. But uh, that's where we're at with this thing, man. Uh, so I will get this carburetor cleaned up, man. Uh, I thought I broke the cable the other day, but I didn't actually break the throttle cable. It has the one cable that goes from the throttle to the centerpiece because this have an oil injector as well as the throttle cable that runs into one. So if you can see here, what happened was when I pulled it because the, the, the slide in the carburetor was stuck and I didn't know that. Uh, so I was trying to push the throttle and I'm like, man, this is stuck. So, um, the throttle cable inside of here actually slipped off. So um, I was able to put it back together and uh, stuck it in there. I might end up buying a new one anyway because I don't want, you know, to be out riding with my kids and that shit decided to take a dump on me. Um, yeah, that wouldn't be fun. But uh, we'll make it do what it do, you know what I mean? Uh, so that's where we're at with that, with that four-wheeler there. We got the other scrambler out here. Of course, y'all seen the video on that. Um, I'm not 100% complete with it or done with it, but it is rideable. Um, I think it needs re-jetting because when I'm riding it, I have to hold the uh, choke cable. I have to adjust the choke cable. 
for the rider. I noticed it the other day when my son was uh, riding it. It cut off on him. And, yeah, he, he doesn't know about pulling the choke cable to keep it running or whatever, you know, because it's not getting enough fuel. That's the issue. It's not getting enough fuel on the scrambler. So I need to find out what is factory jets on it and uh, order some order some new factory jets and maybe a size up, maybe two or three sizes up from that one and uh, try re-jetting that thing and uh, yeah, so it can run smoothly. I mean, so, but that's where we're at with that, with the uh, four-wheeler projects with the 90s, uh, the Scrambler 90 and the Predator 90. So, like I said before, they're basically the same thing. Um, this Predator seems like it's a little bit bigger than the 90. Um, so I'm looking at it right now, so, yeah. I mean, size-wise, not motor-wise. It's still a 90. But anyway, man, that's uh, that's where we at with that. So, I uh, hope y'all enjoyed the update, man. And uh, we will be letting you know uh, further as this process continues, man, on uh, what we got going on. And, uh, yeah. So... Y'all have a great day, man. Y'all be easy out there, man. Peace be unto all of you. you know what I'm saying, may God continue to bless you and yours. Mouth.